once after getting this connection okay you can execute your required statement just i want to get data from student to table okay i know the table name but i don't know the column names and number of fields and i don't know the data types if you don't know what you should do create statement create statement will provide us one statement object once after getting this statement call statement dot execute query method select a star from student 007 there is one table student 007 but i don't know the column names so if you don't know what you should do this execute query will return as what it will return as result set once after getting this result set without knowing column names without knowing data types how you can fetch data if you don't know then call result set dot call metadata method get metadata this get metadata method will return as result set metadata return type okay result set metadata rmd hmm? okay 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 Just what you should do once up after if you have an object reference when you call object reference dot just call dot automatically it will populate all the possible methods here so these are all the methods from the result set object so you can choose your required methods or else you can type keyword get if you call all the possible getter methods it will show here if you call get m get metadata method here it is showing just enter okay it will get this metadata and the return type here itself it will show the return type also you can see this method get metadata and result type here type here it is showing result set metadata sorry yes so here it will show the return type type the same thing here result set metadata just call control space if you have any doubt here call control space it will show all the possible class names here result set metadata select your required one and click enter then here also the reference names you no need to type if you click control space it will suggest us some reference names data metadata result set metadata set metadata it is showing us some reference names so from here you can select any required reference name okay metadata reference name so you can pass your required one okay this one is eclipse suggested one okay so then metadata using this metadata reference what i can do there are get column count get column count using this get column count what i can find how many number of columns are there in my student 007 table so here you will get the student 007 table count so in the form of what it will return this count as a integer the return type is the return type is what here the return type you can find after the method int you can find the return type here the return type is integer return type so then you can expect a data in the form of integer integer number of columns yeah now print that number of columns run this application it is showing there are four columns in student 007 table okay so four columns means i can expect four records from database row one i mean column one column two column three column four four columns data i can expect but which data types those are you need to know the data types so then for int i equal to one to i less than 
5 or else i less than or equal to 4 up to i less than or equal to 4 and i plus plus. You can call here metadata dot get column name get column name and get column data type. So, you can call get column name column name of 1 pass index 1 then oh sorry pass i then it will return column names string column name always names in the form of string only it will return. So, which column name it is system dot out dot println column number column number print i and column name comma column name column name is equal to how we can print yeah here we have right column now here it will print as our column numbers and column names now run this column number one column name what is this get column get column name the method we should use get column name yeah run this then column names are the first column is id then second column here it is showing address the next email the next name there are four columns id address email and name in student 007 table so now open command prompt and verify describe student 007 so in this 007 table what we have id address email and name ok now it is fine you know the column names and you know the number of columns then after knowing all this if you want to know the column data type how we can know how, how you can find the data type also here you can call metadata dot metadata dot get column type or type name get column type or you can call column name so the difference between these two methods get type and get type name it will return as get type name method if i pass my column count here column number this get column type method will return as rkill or mysql specified data types it will return to us so which data type names you can expect here it will return as data types string data type of your column name try to print this data type column number column name plus data type your database vendor specific types it will return to us print the data type here now run this column number one it is id and the data type is number column two is address and the data type varchar the next varchar the next varchar so these data types are not specific to java it is specific to your database vendor specific okay vendor specific data types so if it is a mysql you can expect here int varchar 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 if it is rkill it is returning number varchar2 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 okay now if you want to know the data types of your sql then here you can call get column type only if you call get column type if you call get column type method by giving i 
the return type of this get column type is retrieves the designated columns SQL type but the return type here it is showing okay column type print column type what is this column type 12 column type 2 Hmm? Not exactly. Actually, for this address and email, there are 255 characters. See, from the Arkil. Where care to 255, 255, 255. In SQL types, for this number, I think there is some data type. If we pass this number to SQL types may return. So I think by using SQL types class, you may get data type here. You may need to get data type by using SQL types. There is one types class types dot for int type you can find here for number. for integer it will return as one number so by using this types class for integer I am trying to finding one number here so the number is for number it is showing the integer type 4 I think for for arkill number data type numeric use here yeah so two means what here it's a numeric data type sql types the returned get column type is not a simple integer that integer is having some definition what is that by using sql types you can find actual data type okay by using SQL types, you have to do the conversion here. By using SQL types class, you have to do that conversion. So, how you can do that conversion? By using types class only, you have to do types dot. There is no method actually. All these are static variables. Okay, I'll find out how to convert it. Anyways, once after knowing data types and column numbers then you can fetch data from database right now you can call here while rs dot next so up to how many columns i can call here rs dot get the first one is what number the first one is number the remaining three are varchars so for the first one you can call get int in this get int, you can pass your column number or else you can pass your column name here. Okay, column number or column name you can pass here. So, dynamically, if you want to pass your column names in that for loop itself, you can keep it. Or else, you can track these names and pass that names dynamically here. Okay, my column names are the first one is id, the next one is name, the name data type is what? So, I need to call get varchar get string. So, here the next column is address and the next column is email. 
and the next column is name right yeah now run this finally here is id address name and email so without knowing your column number of columns and column data types also you can fetch data dynamically here by knowing that column names and the column count okay okay anyways so here by using which driver we are trying to connecting type 2 driver okay in this case here instead of giving local host you can pass your ip address so how we can find ip address go through command prompt ip config so here ip4 address subnet mask default gateway addresses here it is giving okay ipv4 only showing here so this is my ipv4 address 192.168.1.8 copy this ip address and keep that ip address here instead of giving localhost okay pass 192.168.1.8 now run this same code here oh invalid syntax or database name is null One twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one Okay. Leave for this example. Give local host. Okay. Once again, I'll test with type 4 driver. In case if you get exception, I think it is problem with the DDBC. Okay. In case of type 2 connection, you need to pass OCA here. In case if you want to go through type 4 connection, again, we have one more driver, right? Type 3 driver also we have here. 